down here at the transom, I just pulled that off. I had to, um, the, the length of the chime grew a little bit. I just had to take a little bit off that, fine tune that with the pull saw. And I'm gonna route, I'm gonna give a little round over on the transom while it's off. And then I'm gonna glue it in place. Alright, I want to put, uh, get some screws holes lined up in this. I just put a pencil line down there about an inch in. And throw a nail, a little finish nail in here. Now I'm going to grab my drill, pre-drill some holes. Okay, I just decided to lay out a series of holes about every three inches, which may seem like a lot, but that's what holds the motor on. Clamped a little stick here just to keep this off so I can apply some glue in there. I want plenty. I collect whatever squeezes out and fill those screw holes. I'm going to fill all around this chine end. Chine doesn't have to fit perfect. This glue will take up any gap. I just cleaned up the inside of the transom. I gave the corners all a little radius. Now I'm using the leftover glue to fill these screw holes. The way you want to do it is you start right in the middle. 
and go out each side. That way you don't have an air pocket and you want to leave a little high and sand it off later. Because if you swipe it across, it's generally going to be low and leave a little void inside that screw hole. I got my two sheets for the bottom up on the bench here. And this is 3 quarter inch 18 mil Okumi plywood. And I'm going to scarf the ends of these. And I got a fresh blade and a 10 inch saw. And I'm going to have to finish that cut off with circular saw and a power plane because this blade depth will not give me my full scarf that I need. So let me gear up and fire up the saw. It's going to be a slow going cut. Here I'm measuring back six inches.
glue is dry. Next thing I have to do is take care of this little edge right here. That's a square edge off the sheet. I want to plane that down level with this chine. easy that is with a sharp hand plane. I could have fired up my power plane, made a bunch of noise and dust, but this is way more satisfying. Alright, now I gotta get this down flush with the chines. That's a little trickier because I want to be down at the chine level. So I gotta get rid of a little of this that I couldn't get in here and plane. Whatever I didn't get down flush enough, that would be done by the belt sander. All right, you watched me put the scarf joints on the bottom sheets. I'm gonna show you an alternative method. Uh, this is a butt block right here. And I would put that, I would hold that back about an inch or so from the outside chine. And that gives water a place to run by on the floor of the boat so it can get to your pet cock at the stern. And then, this is a shiplap joint right here, where you remove material from each side. And I do that with the router. Router has a mortising bit that's set to half the distance of the plywood, the depth. And you start on the outside edge and run that back and forth until you get to you, whatever distance you want, it could be an inch, it could be three inches, and uh, there would be some kind of straight edge clamped here that would be my guide. And so then I join these two sheets with uh, 5200 or epoxy, thickened epoxy. 
and I would screw that together right into my butt block. Or you don't even have to do this shiplap. Another way is, which I've used in the past, works great. Just take two sheets, put a block behind there, just glue and screw that all together. And that stiffens up that whole seam right across, and you're good to go. And you can also do the same thing right on the sides. This already has a bevel cut on it. This was a floor one. To join those two sheets on the side, the 3 8 that piece of wood would fit right underneath this chine. And that's how I join the sides together. No scarf joints at all. Very simple. Works good. Then when you're done, maybe run a piece of fiberglass tape on the outside. That way you'll never see that seam. Fair that in, paint it, good to go. In the next episode, we'll get the bottom on. Thanks for watching.